this video I'm going to be showing you guys how I turned my project from this to this. So basically I upgraded my project from URP to SDRP and I would like to show you what I did in order to change this project and completely turn the visuals into realistic than what it was before. So this is my first SDRP project which I'm doing right now and I am giving my whole focus for visuals in this game also the performance as well but the visuals i'm prioritizing more visuals in this one there are a couple of things that you can see this scene first the terrain the shape of the terrain is built like the hilly area it is located at hilly areas and you also see a lot of mountains there in the previous update video i've shown you guys how i created these mountains okay these beautiful looking mountains go check that out uh, these are just modeled mountains from blender which are really compressed and um, the terrain itself the unity terrain and i used a couple of add-ons uh, everything you see in this scene are free i have i've not spent any money in this one for example like there is one add-on that you can find in unity asset store called vegetation spawner which i used to spawn this grass and trees on terrain i used procedural terrain painter in order to color the terrain out and uh, there were different packages used for example book of the dead i used the trees from that package i used free grass that i can get from asset store there's also water system in this map the water looks really beautiful unit 6 provides it as a default and uh, there's also day and night scene in this game the fog system um, the weather system and it looks completely different from what um, what was there in URP and what I found out was there was a vast difference in performance as well. The performance drops very quickly when you're working with SDRP. It was not a one click conversion from URP to SDRP. It took me a long time. Everything was pink at the start and I manually changed all those materials into SDRP. And finally I get the process up and run. The game is looking beautiful. And the most concerning thing about SGRP is the performance. It drops pretty quickly. Uh, if you're not aware about what you're doing with your scene. Uh, you have to optimize the game. Use features that Unity provides in order to optimize your game's performance. You know, you need to also have better LODs. One thing you can do is compress your textures your audio, your 3D models, compressions for the optimizations of performance. That is one thing that you should keep in mind. This is also one thing that adds up to your work task to optimize your game's performance. If you only bring some models from an asset store and just put it into the scene, it's not going to be working like that. You have to look into the asset files and see uh, which files are, you know, large, larger than needed. You need to compress those out and put it into the scene. Also use features and the settings that the quality settings, the SDRP settings you need to know about those settings and utilize them to get the best out of unity sdrp and if you are a single developer like me you would uh, have an extra work added to your list for this performance issue so right now my game is running in 60 fps until now let's see what happens when i add more details into the terrain and uh, more coding goes into the game this is not the final product there are a lot of things to be done for example a bit realisticness with minor objects in the scene small rocks pebbles roots uh, tiles you know i have to create a path uh, add uh, staircases i also have to build a road in my terrain path from where the player comes to this village and now the story it's almost complete i mean it's, it's never complete until the game releases because i'm always trying to add new things over there the base core is complete kind of but you know it's still adding up things to make it more interesting and uh, I, I don't want to make this story more obvious i'm trying to add new things and i'll be still building the story with the game itself so maybe next update i'll release something about the you know environment or what is happening in this game actually so this is also going to be a horror kind of game where you would experience a new scene maybe a new style of gameplay crafting systems and this is not going to be a boring game one so i'm trying to study how i can make my game more interesting uh, sort of things so this is uh, update 2 for this game mainly it's all about the visuals i'll be making next video pretty soon with new updates this is the update 2 and the update 3 is coming pretty soon if you want to support this channel support me in this project please do subscribe and like this video in update 3 i will make a page where you can also wish list this game so this is going to be really interesting i'm trying to make it more immersive thank you for watching if you have any comments if you want to ask anything about game development or what i did in this project please let me know in the comment section don't forget to like subscribe and help me grow this channel thank you very much see you next time